But the weather, this may be one of the least well received videos I ever did. I'm gonna do it anyway because it occurs to me that there's probably not a lot of people that know how to do this other than going down to our uh, what is it, ACR, ARC, ARC, American Rental Company, or any of the other two or three around in renting the ditch. Or, okay, I had the money to rent the ditch. If I did, I wouldn't spend the money on the ditch because, well, this is late. But do you know how to dig a ditch? Okay, first, you get a chicken. No, I'm, just uh, I'm having to lay the pipe back in it as I go because the chickens are helping me fill it in. Uh, this was taught to me by, and I'm not going to call him African American. He never called himself an African American. I was trying to dig a ditch when I was 17 years old. And this man came up to me. He said, boy, give me that shovel. I said, yes, sir. He said, let this Negro show you how this is done. He said, you're wasting a lot of time. He said, you know you got to go three shovels deep. I said, yes, sir. He said, why do you keep cleaning out after every one? He said, why don't you just dig your three shovels deep and then clean it out? I said, well, sir. I said, I didn't know I was supposed to do that. He took my shovel away from me for 20 minutes. And I'll have y'all know I'm doing this one hand. And he just kept driving the shovel in about two inches back every time. And he rolled up. And then he'd come back. And he'd do it again. And here's the cute part. He said, and son, ain't no sense in jumping down in that ditch when you got steps. He said, now then, after you get down to the deep you want, whatever it is you're burying in that ditch, you got to bury it. He said, so instead of cleaning all that dirt out of the ditch, and having to put it right back in. He said, why don't you just rake it to the end you're working in? And then the show shoveling it out of the ditch. Take that pile of dirt right there and shovel it up on top of your pile. That man was smart. He gave me back my shovel. He walked back up on his porch, sat back down in his chair, lit another cigarette, and sat there and drank a beer and watched me dig his neighbor's ditch. Constantly giving me words of encouragement. He's giving me. Never knew his name, but he'd wave at me every time. He'd see me in the grocery store, he'd say, hey boy, say hello sir. He'd always ask me if I was digging any ditches. And then tell him, no, I got promoted. He said, he said, son, it's hard to find a better job than digging a ditch once you figured out how it's done. Anyway. That's how to dig a ditch, and that's the end of my story. Y'all have a good day. It won't kill you to run a show. It'll kill you if you run it wrong. Stay alive. Don't die.